Today we're gonna make some pizza dough with a twist. First of all, we're gonna get this flour. It's anima verace. It's a zero zero flour or an all purpose flour. And here instead we have some in fibra or flour that has been mixed with uh, some whole wheat. We're gonna put that in here, kind of mix them up like this. And in the center, we're gonna add the water. And this time it's gonna be with a little bit of a twist, a bit of beer. We'll place this in here as well. To this, we will add the yeast the sugar, as well as the oil. With my dough hook, I'm going to mix everything together. As you can see, I have yet to add the salt. We'll wait a bit for that. We'll bring all these ingredients together. So this is not gonna be a very high hydrated dough going to be perfect for a thin crust pizza. Now there is no better tool than your hands. So I'm going to take this out and get my hands in here. And this is the type of pizza my family prefers, the thin crust pizza. I prefer having kind of like the Neapolitan style pizza, but let's make everybody happy. So we're bringing this all together and working the dough really well. And this actually is a dough that is prepared in one of my favorite pizzeria in the Mugello. And absolutely love it. Now that the dough has come together, I'm going to add the salt and work it in really well. What I could and should have done is reserved just a little teeny bit of water and that helps usually to incorporate the salt better. But I'm going to squeeze it in there and work it some more. Once again, we'll squeeze it so we can make sure that the salt is in the center as well. And now we're gonna let this dough rest for about 10, 15 minutes before we come back to it and work it some more. We simply took a dish towel that is clean and without detergent smell and placed it in the water, squeezed the water out, and then we're gonna place it right here to allow the dough to rest. Time is up. And now we'll be able to work it a bit better. The gluten strands have relaxed and it just takes a lot of the work out of it. Let's cover it up once again, allow it to rest another 10, 15 minutes, and we'll work it one more time before we'll allow it to rise. Time is up. Look at the beautiful dough. You see some of the germ in there and the fiber. So this time I'm gonna take it out of here and actually work it on the table. So now we're going to bring it back together, place it in here, cover it up and allow it to rise. And here we are, the dough has beautifully risen. Now we're going to just gently dust it, place it right on our work surface. And now we're going to be able to divide it up. The easiest way is to just divide it like this. And then the first one we'll just kind of guess as to the size. Here we have just need to add. And now to shape the dough ball, I'm gonna tuck it under. Tuck it under just like this. You see how we brought everything together? And then as well on the work surface, you can bring it down, put my hand over it and kind of rotate the dough, and that will also tighten it up into a nice dough ball. And this one here, will already be able to put inside our dough trays, and they're provided with a lid, and they fit perfectly into the refrigerator. 
now let's keep going we'll get another one i'm still a bit off let's see there we go once again we're just gonna tuck under tuck under tuck under like this over place this underneath and keep going until all the dough is gone and here are our beautiful dough balls we're going to close it with the lid and let it rest and here we are as you can see this one has been able to rise and you can do it one of two ways this one we chose to leave uh, at room temperature so it could rise because we want to use it tonight but we could have also just shaped it and placed it into the refrigerator overnight for improved flavor and also to improve the structure of the dough. I'm just going to show you how beautifully this dough will stretch. And this is going to make some amazing pizza for tonight. So I'm going to wish you a buon appetito.